Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons Tips and Tricks Tutorial Videos. Today's video is showcasing all of the 35 brand new items that you can get with the brand new 1.7.0 update ready for festival. I'm so excited. Thanks for coming. You guys are amazing. Now, let's go. Let's go and let's dive into this. But before we do so, I always want to invite you guys to hit that subscribe button. If you guys like Animal Crossing content, Animal Crossing live streams, rare villager hunts, all that fun stuff, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications. There's a couple of bits of uh, context that you do want to get on board with, so definitely take a look at our tips and tricks tutorial video playlist over here. We did a live stream not too long, about two and a half hours of gathering all the data that's going to be inside this video over here. Along with that, we detailed the entirety of the trailers and we showed you exactly who Pave and Festival of all really are. So, thanks for being here. Uh, one last thing, the love is absolutely in the air. So if you click on buy new merch on my main channel page, you'll be able to see all the very awesome Valentine's Day items. I know those of you guys that have a significant other or looking to get a significant other, wink, wink, this is one way that you'll be able to do so. Take a look at Trophy Cat over here, offering off his crystal heart. How cute is that? It absolutely is. Anyway, if you guys want to save 10% off, use the promo code NEWYEAR10. Oh yeah, and if you guys are members, there's even more discount codes available on the community tab post. Don't tell anyone. Anyway, let's go. I'm ready. Let's show off these items, 35 of them. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to get them. But before we do so, boom, you're gonna have to hit that home button. And if you wanna update your game, press the plus button while you have your little icon over here on Animal Crossing New Horizons. Click on software update. And if you're connected to the internet, click on via the internet and you will be ready to go. That is how you update to 1.7.0. Gotta cover my bases. Some people don't know that and it's okay. So there we go, you'll be on 1.7 and you'll be ready to get these awesome items. So since we're talking about festival, I figured that I'd show you all of the festival items very, very closely. They are amazing. So first things first is going to be the festival stall. That's a stall, you can put items on it. So it looks great. Right over here is the balloon lamp. You can see over here that you can turn it on, uh, but of course it's daylight outside so you won't be able to see that. Next up is going to be the Festival Parasol. It rhymes and it looks excellent. Next up is the Festival Garland. You can use this as uh, like fencing almost by putting it wherever you need it. And it's very thin, it takes up like half a space. So you can like rope off a little bit of an area and have a lot of fun with it. Love the item. All right, next up is going to be the Festival Flag. You can see that over there. We got a Festival Drum, where if you do hit it, it does make a sound. Next up is gonna be the Festival Floor Lamp. Very nice. And the Festival Confetti Machine that shoots out all sorts of confetti. And then our ninth item on the list over here is gonna be the Festival Stage. Yes, a lot of you guys were thinking that we'd be able to put rugs on the outside, but no, it's just like the leaf pile that we've seen before. So it comes with lights that you can't turn off. What do you know? All right, so all these items over here, you'll notice that they're green on my game, but other people's islands, they may be different. So now every single person's island has a random coloration that's assigned to all of the items that they can purchase for the festival set. So mine was green. We have some people that have red, some people that have blue, some people that have pink or purple, whatever that color is. So it's going to encourage a lot of trading and or customization. So here's what we're gonna do right now. Before showing you guys exactly how to get these items, we're gonna show you guys the customizations available and then I'll show you all of that. The customization options in this game are absolutely stunning for this specific set. Now, usually I'm very hard on the Nintendo dev team about coloration and design choices and you guys remember brown and white nuts, right? Anyway, I don't think this is as good as brown and white nuts, but this is very, very good. All right, anyway, you can see over here that there's a little feather icon next to it. Abdallah, what's that mean? Well, on Festival, on February 2nd, you'll be able to collect feathers that float in the air, just like large snowflakes were. So once you do that, you'll need to collect a rainbow feathers, and those are gonna be a little bit more rare than your average color feather. And in order to customize these items into different colors, you need to use those rainbow feathers. So as you can see over here, red, blue, you have purple, and then you have the rainbow variant. Now that's interesting because everyone's shops has one of these four colors, right? 
No one's shop has the rainbow one. So if you want to get the rainbow colorations of every single one of these, you're going to need to start collecting these rainbow feathers on the 15th of February. So that's what the stage looks like with the customization options. It's going to be the exact same thing. You've got green, you've got red, you've got blue, you've got purple, and then you've got rainbow. Cool, right? Love the colorations. You let me know in the comments which your favorite coloration is. Um, you can see over here red, you've got blue, purple, and rainbow. Love it, love it. All right, next up. Festival drum, red, blue, purple, and rainbow. I don't know if you guys are paying attention to the little finer details of every single one of these items, but there's a theme going on with the colorations other than it just being red, right? So with red, you'll see like there's a, like a sun, like a flaming sun. Uh, with the blue one, you've got the diamonds. With the purple one, you'll see flowers. And rainbow's just rainbow. So kind of cool. I like it. I like it that it keeps the theme. So there's your green, you got your flame sun, you've got your diamonds, you have the flowers, and you have rainbow for the stalls. So I really, really like, I like this a lot. I'm very, very happy with how this turned out. You can see the sun design over here. It just looks spectacular with all of these. So that's the customization for that. We've got two more to show you, and then we're gonna show you how to get all the stuff. Uh, first of all, parasol, again, same concept with all the colorations. They look really good. And we have the garland. So different colors of the little flags on there. And of course the rainbow one is absolutely the best one. Okay, so now that you've seen all the items, what the nine items are, we're also going to show you the customization options and uh, we already did that. Well, let's actually show you how to get them. So starting from February 1st, February 1st is when you're gonna be able to get all of these items in the corner of Nook's uh, cranny over here, provided that, yeah, you've spent a lot of money in Nook's Cranny. So anyway, go over here, talk to them, you can buy it, they s cost a lot of money, and 5,000 bells is, is a lot, but you guys know how to make money in Animal Crossing, I don't need to tell you how to do that. So anyway, uh, you'll be able to buy one of these per day, so if you're a traditional player, and you're looking at getting every single one of these nine items, all you have to do is just log in every single day, come over here, and it's not going to repeat itself throughout the first nine days. No, you're gonna get every single one of them. So do that and you'll be all set and ready to go. So um, one of the other things that we do wanna to talk to you about is number 10 on our list. One more thing that you could purchase and starting on February 1st, you'll be able to go over here in this cupboard and you'll be able to buy a brand new set of reactions. Now I've already bought it so you can't really see it over here on screen, but it costs a little less than 20,000 bells. Now once you do so, you'll get tons of awesome reactions uh, such as these four. I'll show you them right on screen over here. Confetti, you have Viva, you have Let's Go, and then you also have Feeling It. I'm really feeling it. Anyway, so here's confetti. You throw confetti up into the air. Pretty cute. They like that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let's see what else we got. This is Viva. Wow, they both did the Viva right along with me, and there's like a little starburst that comes out after it. Yeah, great. Um, next up is my personal favorite called Let's Go. Oh, yeah, you got the little snazzy look. Yeah, let's go. Oh, you see Timmy and Tommy do a little jump too. Great, cute. All right, and then last but not least, you have one more emotion, one more reaction called Feeling It. And Feeling It is just a little dance that you can do. It's not necessarily the shrunk dance. Kind of reminds me of a dance of like a president may or may not have done on stage one time. I don't know. Whatever, we don't really talk about that anymore. But anyway, moving on. <clears throat> okay, so you bought the reactions. That's gonna be 10 items that you can get. Now remember, we said 35. There's a lot more items that you're gonna be able to get in this game. Now, of course, if you guys plan a more customized approach, you can absolutely move your date to another time and then see what there is as far as selection goes. So um, the Able Sister Shop is where you're gonna find a majority of the next items. And they're going to be a lot of clothing items over here. So let's go over the clothing items that you'll be able to get. Now, remember with the Able Sister Shops, you're not gonna be able to get every single clothing item within your first day uh, starting February 1st. You may have to go to February 2nd, February 3rd, in order to collect it all because the selection changes every day and the spawns may or may not show up right away. So just keep on going. If it doesn't show up day one, it'll show up the next day or the next day or the next day. So anyway, right over here. Next up, as we can see, no spoilers in the room, don't look. But anyway, these four items are available for you in the Able Sisters shop. They look pretty cool, huh? Yeah, absolutely. So starting with uh, number 11 through 17, in the items list is going to be the 
ogre costume in red, the ogre costume in green, and the ogre costume in blue. Looks pretty cool. It's like a pretty much like a skin tight outfit if you really wanted to put it on. And then uh, right on top is going to be the ogre, the horned ogre mask in red, green, and blue. And then that one that's just doesn't really fit in, but that's the Okame mask. So pretty cool. I like it. You can wear them, they're masks, and go for it. Able Sisters, that's where it's at. So now speaking of Festival, let's take a look at the Festival wall. All right, so we got the Festival wall right here. Let's uh, let's take a look at it. So you'll see over here that the Festival wall has tons of different items. Oh my gosh, the dress is in the wrong spot. Hey, don't look at that. <laughs> How'd the dress get up there, man? Yo, don't look at this dress. Get this dress out of here, dude. Come on, man. Dude, that would totally bother like probably 50% of the entire audience, just saying. Anyway, so the Festival wall. Uh, there's going to be a Festival accessory, which is the hat. And yeah, so this is gonna be numbers 18 through 26. Festival accessory, you have the Festival costume, and then you have the Festival dress. They look spectacular, they're very shiny, and the pants and the jacket are one piece. So you don't have to buy or mix match sets. That's really just one piece. You put it on and you're ready to party. Let's go. So pretty fun, right? All right, next up is going to be the maracas. We can see the maracas right over here. The maracas actually look pretty good. Uh, they are very fun. You can press the A button on them and then you can actually shake them. You can actually hear that, right? And not only that, but you can grab the maracas and you can put them in your hand, hold them. And the cool thing about that is every time you press the A button, you can absolutely shake maracas. And it's based off of your actual rhythm and inputs. So if you're like me and you play Mario Party and can tap really, really quick, it'll register that. So very, very fun. Now, how do you get the maracas is making sure that you update your game. And as soon as you update your game, you'll be able to go to your mailbox and Nintendo will send the maracas for free. Super simple. Okay, next up is going to be the beans. Oh my gosh, let's go beans. Yo, these are the beans. It's a bean tossing kit. Now, I showed you guys in my other video that, um, you know, it's cultur cultural in Japan to grab these little soybeans. And uh, once you have the soybeans, in order to cleanse your house from evil spirits um, during a festival or like a little event, what, they, uh, what people do is they grab beans and then they throw the beans at the demons. And some people dress up as the little oni or the demons and they just like symbolically throw the beans at them. So that's pretty great. That's exactly what uh, what the beans are. So you have unlimited beans, you throw them all over the place, they don't go on the floor. They're magic beans, yeah, absolutely. So yeah, magic beans are there. Now, uh, what you can do is if you have access to Nook Shopping, uh, this is exactly how you're gonna get the beans. So you go to Nook Shopping and then go to Special Goods and then go all the way over here. Bean Tossing Kit is available until the 3rd of February. So after the 3rd of February, you're not gonna be able to get the Bean Tossing Kit. So go to that if you don't have uh, if you guys didn't already know, getting the Nook Shopping app on your phone is unlocked by doing 100 different Nook Shopping orders. So you can order five things every single day, do that for a bunch of times and you'll eventually unlock it. Or just go to the ABD machine inside Resident Services, click on Nook Shopping and you'll be all set and ready to go. All right, next up is going to be the Mr. Rossetti little statue. I love this thing, dude. Yeah, the Rossetti model is huge. It is absolutely my favorite. He's my favorite Animal Crossing character, in case you guys didn't know. He uh, has a little shine to him. I really like that. And he's there to signify Groundhog's Day. So, hey, go ahead and get him. He's like a little model that is, uh, yeah, finally gets his time to shine. Anyway, the way that you're gonna get the Mr. Rossetti is going to be the exact same thing through Nook Shopping. Go to Special Goods. Uh, go on over to Seasonal, and the Rossetti model is right over here until the 2nd of February. Again, Groundhog's Day in the United States. That's exactly why it's there. So, pretty fun. Okay, uh, next up on the list is going to be for the big sports game. Yay! Go Buccaneers! Go Chiefs! Let me know in the comments which team you're going to be rooting for. Or you're going to watch me streaming on Super Bowl Sunday because I don't really pay attention too much to that stuff. But either way, go Tom Brady. Uh, right over here. So you've got the last five items, um, actually almost the last five items of our video. This is called the football rug. 
It's the rug that goes on the ground and it's in the shape of a football. Go figure. Now the next things uh, right on top are going to be your little megaphones. Now these megaphones are actually funny and I'll go grab one in a little bit once I show you what they are. But this is gonna be called the football cheer megaphone. We have the fiery cheer megaphone. We also have the glittery cheer megaphone and we have the starry cheer megaphone. Now these are going to be megaphones in a way that all you really have to do is pick them up and you just like emote with them, like you react with them. So watch, I'm gonna grab this one. I'm going to hold it. And then if you press the A button or press and hold the A button, that's it, you're just cheering. And that's all the megaphone does. Now, those of you guys that were excited for Animal Crossing New Leaf, having a megaphone, having the ability to call your villagers over to where you want them to be, that's not happening, at least not yet. So that's not the megaphone that we're here with, so. Anyway, anyway, so the last thing on our list is actually a secret item that really wasn't shown too much. It wasn't really shown in the trailers or anything like that. It's more of a secret between you and me. And this is something that you may or may not want to get. I don't know. But anyway, let's take a look. Let me see if I can show you. The album. Hmm, yes, yes, right over here. So... Um, yeah, what you want to do is now with this 1.7 update, you want to head over to the oceans and find a scallop. Once you find the scallop, Pascal is going to come over to you like he normally does. And now this time he's going to be able to give you something that you have never gotten the ability to get within the game. So give him the scallop. And then as soon as you do so, check your inventory and you'll see right over here that you have the mermaid fence DIY. So that's actually pretty cool. The Mermaid Fence DIY is, uh, is a little expensive to make because you need a lot of pearls or whatever, uh, but still, like that's pretty amazing. So uh, head on over here, I'm gonna go to everything. I'm gonna go to Order Obtained and you'll be able to see that the, the DIY is actually really cool looking. It reminds me of ice cream a little bit. <clears throat> so anyway, once we go over here, Order Obtained, boom, Mermaid Fence. So you'll see in order to craft the Mermaid Fence, you'll need one pearl five coral and five sand dollars. The pearls are relatively hard to find, so it's not an easy currency to make this, but I think the fence looks really, really sharp. It looks like a ice cream, a little ice cream, just put a little popsicle stick in there and just, mmm, yummy. So anyway, uh, that's a little secret thing that hasn't really been announced too much, but now you guys know it's available. So the very first thing that I got from Pascal after giving him the scallop was exactly this. That's anecdotal. I'm not going to say it's going to be the exact same thing for everyone, but a lot of people have already said that. So keep on going with Pascal and keep on diving and you'll be all set and ready to go. In case you don't know how to dive, you're going to need a wetsuit. So grab your wetsuit, wear that. Um, you get the wetsuit from Nook Shopping and then you just jump into the ocean and swim around a little bit. So ladies and gents, that's it. Yay, we did it, woohoo, 35 items in the game, I'm excited. Now keep in mind that there's still items that are unannounced. There is going to be some Valentine's chocolate items and the rose bouquet and some Korean New Year item and some Chinese items and there's also going to be maybe something that we're gonna get from Pave himself on the exact day. But as of right now, this is what's available and look forward to some more update videos when the information comes out. I've got you guys covered with all of that stuff. So thanks so much for watching. And if you guys wanna be updated on the latest and greatest Animal Crossing content on YouTube, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button. We're on our quest to getting 1 million subscribers. It's a huge benchmark. And at 900,000, we're gonna be giving away another Nintendo Switch. So let's hit it together. I think it'll be a great time. So let's go. Um, other than that, shout outs to all of our members right over here. You can see every single one of them. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, which of these items is your absolute favorite? I can't wait to hear from you guys. Thanks so much for it. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.